What's up everybody, Josh Clo here. Yes, I am back into making videos again for everyone who is subscribed. If you have not subscribed, like I said, my name is Josh Clo. I do a lot of dolphin um, podcasting, broadcasting, predictions, updates, however you guys want to say um, what I do. I also do a lot of stuff in the NFL as well, big NFL fan, so I will be giving out breaking news, updates from around the league which is something we're going to talk about today, which also will involve the Miami, hopefully involve the Miami Dolphins down the, uh, down the road coming into January and February. Um, but like I said, I'm back into making videos. Everyone who watches this, thank you for your support. Thank you for watching you know, me. Thank you for coming back to my channel. Uh, I'm going to try my best abilities to give you guys the best quality videos I can. Uh, unfortunately, the same problems I had last year. Money's really tight. Don't have a lot of equipment. Doing a lot of stuff on my phone, so I don't have a mic or you know fancy computer editing all that. So please bear with me while I get back into the mojo and doing YouTube. Hopefully, I do have a computer I want to start using again. Maybe do some editing. I know I had some problem with the editing program I was using. I don't know what I need to do to fix it. I'm not a big computer um, guy, so. Like I said, please bear with me um, as I transition back into YouTube. But going right into the topic of the video, if you guys have not saw on Tuesday, uh, whatever day you are watching this, on Tuesday, the NFL had passed that they're adding a seventh playoff team for each conference in the AFC and the NFC. So there will be three wild card games each or each season, seven playoff teams. You will have the number one seed, which will have bye weeks. And then from two to seven, there will be playoffs or wild cards. So two will play seven, three will play six, and then four will play five. You know, two, three, and four will host the um, their home games. One will have the bye week, host their home game throughout the whole um, playoffs, unless obviously they lose and someone else bumps up. But the other part is how does that fit in for the Miami Dolphins, especially for this season? Um, all you Dolphins fans, you've looked at the uh, this offseason, the free agency at least. Dolphins did pretty well in the free agency. I mean, picking up Shaq La uh, Lawson, Eric Flowers, Byron Jones, uh, Kyle Van Noy, a couple of those guys, and a couple other guys. Um, Brian Flores is really building some uh, some of the holes that the Dolphins have. Offensive line, D-line, linebacker. You know, we really didn't need another top-notch cornerback, but they do. Him and um, Howard will make a very nasty duo, although we still probably need some safety help. We do have Eric Rowe, which probably will slide into safety. Um, don't really know what they're going to do yet, and we still possibly don't know yet because of the coronavirus stuff. Uh, Preseason and training camps, I think OTAs got canceled. I'm not really positive. I know that they've been doing a lot of stuff in the NFL because of the, the pandemic, but... Don't quote me on that, but there's still a lot of time, and we still have the draft left. You know, the Dolphins could go first round for a safety. I don't really know what they have plans. They have three first round picks. There have been rumors that they want to trade for Joe Burrow. There's been rumors that they can't get two. They're going to go best possible player. They might trade back one, maybe like their late first round pick. They could trade back to get more picks. Don't really know what they're uh, what they're playing for right now, but. There's still a lot of holes for the Miami Dolphins. Like I said, their safety. Um, we do have Jordan Howard at the running back, but I know they're going to plan to get another running back, probably like a Christian McCaffrey, Shaquan uh, Barkley type running back, very slinky, pass-catching guy who can get you 100-plus yards scrimmage every week on the receiving and the rushing, probably get you a touchdown a game. They're looking for that type of running back. Offensive line could definitely use a uh, little bit more help. Um, and also, we definitely need, need another linebacker. We need an all-pro linebacker, um, which I don't think there's any more in the free agency. I mean, other than I mean, there is still Clowney who can play linebacker slash edge rusher, but he's not going to come to the Miami Dolphins at all. So they've already he's already turned them down. So still a couple holes. Oh, and the quarterback, of course. You know, whether we get Joe Burrow, Tua, Jake Fromm, Jordan Love, Herbert. Or even, uh, you know, trading. I know that Derek Carr's in a quarterback battle. Deshaun Watson is rumoring he wants out. So there's a lot of different possibilities the Dolphins can use for the quarterback. But back to the original point, 
Brian Flores is filling up the holes in the free agency. He's also going to fill up more holes in the draft. The Dolphins could possibly, depending on who we get at quarterback at least, could be an 8-8 eight and eight team, 7-9 and nine team, which could possibly qualify for the 7th uh, playoff team or the 7th wildcard team, depending how the AFC goes. AFC's been, other than their top-notch dogs, been kind of weak for uh, wild card the last couple of years. Titans made it at 9-7 and seven on, like, a three-way tie or two-way tie. You know, the other two teams getting ready for it were, like, 8-8. Eight and eight, So, 7 seed can definitely, uh, definitely will help the Miami Dolphins, at least this year or possibly next year. Um, I do believe that the Bills will run that division now since Brady is gone. Belichick's basically rebuilding that team, probably trying to see his way out for the New England Patriots. The Bills are going to run that division. They are, I believe they are a complete team now, bringing in Stephon Diggs. I mean, their offense is really nice. Their defense, they were a top five defense last year. They, you know, got Josh Norman this year. Their defense is even better. They did uh, have a guy retire, so uh, Lonzo, Lenizo, Alexander, I believe. So th- that was a big loss for them, but Josh Norman coming in will probably help them on the cornerback. They're a very good team. That's with. Brady out of the Patriots, they're probably a 12-win team. Going to win the division probably this year or next year uh, while the Dolphins are still rebuilding. The Jets are kind of lackey. I mean, they got Adam Gase, but they did go 6-2 and two of their final eight games last season. So there's a big, big possibilities for the AFC East, and the Patriots are just a big question mark because they don't have Brady. A lot of their star players went away, but Bill Ch- Belichick is still Bill Belichick, so... They went 11-5 of Matt Castle, so anything is possible for the Patriots. But if the Dolphins can go 8-8, eight and eight, somewhere around the 500 mark, hopefully 9-7, and seven, there's a high chance that the Dolphins could take that 7th uh, wild card spot. Um, the unfortunately part of it is the Dolphins have to win that many games, and it depends on do we ride with Ryan Fitzpatrick all season or do we ride whatever rookie quarterback we have. As of right now, we may not get Tua because the Redskins are in talks of trying to get Tua. Um, Chargers, they said they're riding for Tyron Taylor, but they might move up past us to get uh, Tua. And then there's other possibilities that we could get Tua at five because Justin Herbert had leapfrogged um, Tua in the uh, draft prospects. And then Dolphin could get lucky. You know, pull a Russell Wilson, Kirk Cousins type situation, go third, fourth, fifth round, get a quarterback to be the franchise quarterback. You know, we don't have to get the franchise quarterback at first. Um, I'm a big Jake Fromm fan. He may not be a first round QB, but a late first round, early second round is a perfect possibility for the Dolphins for quarterback. But that is on a different video, not for this video. But just putting my input out there. Seventh uh, wild card spot had been passed for the NFL. We will have it this season. The Dolphins are could possibly be in contention for that seventh wild card spot. Obviously, we got to see how the draft is. But for a five and eleven team, who was really with nobody but but scrubs, kind of started rebuild. You know, really good rebuild already. Devontae Parker finally you know excelling. Um, we fill in holes. Hopefully our offensive line and D-line is going to be a lot better than last year. You know, got to up our sacks and numbers. Can't win with being the worst team in sacks. But that's all for the video, essentially. Uh, just giving you guys an update with the wild card pick and then my opinion on the Dolphins. Yes, I think the Dolphins could possibly run for that. Now, the other po- possibility is are we going to have an NFL season? This year, the Dolphins, or not Dolphins, the NFL are saying that they're going to keep on track. Kickoff will be in September. They're going to do a whole 16, maybe 17 game uh, season. I don't know. I haven't heard much about the 17 game season, what they uh, had passed. That was in the talks of the seventh playoff spot. But um, I don't know if it's going to happen this year. I know it's going to be two international games, but we'll see how that goes. But. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for supporting me. If you guys don't follow me, make sure you guys follow. Hit that like. Comment below. Anything you guys want to comment. Comment about the Miami Dolphins. You know, what's your thoughts on the te- this team, the free agency? What do you think we're going to get the draft? You know, comment whatever you feel that needs to be comment. 
And uh, I will definitely uh, comment back to you guys. But thank you for watching. Hope you guys have a great Wednesday or Thursday if you guys are watching Thursday. And catch you guys in the next video. Appreciate it.